Welcome back. It's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Thanks for joining us again. Our guest is Curran Price. Mr. Price is a member of the California State Senate, and he is the newest chair of the California Legislative Black Caucus. That includes the Senate and the Assembly. That's right. Congratulations, Mr. Chairman. Well, thank you. Thank you. What does that mean? Well, it means that uh, I'm going to be working with my colleagues to uh, advance the kind of positive uh, policy positions that, that benefit uh, citizens all over the state, uh, especially uh, those where African Americans are residing. Let's talk about um, our legislature. 120 seats total yes. between the Senate and the Assembly. That's correct. But only eight members are black. I mean, I don't want to be a bean counter, but yeah. it does seem kind of low. Well, you know, it does. We'd like to see those numbers increase, but uh, we think that uh, whenever we can provide the kind of firm, positive leadership, uh, that's, that's important. We'd like to increase our numbers, but uh, if not, we're going to remain where we are and keep working hard. Could one argue on the flip side that maybe that means we're becoming more colorblind and whites can represent areas that are traditionally black and blacks can represent areas that are traditionally white and so it doesn't matter as much? Well, I, I think it is important to, to have competent leaders and um, I think voters have an opportunity to choose and, and fortunately um, most of our members in fact represent areas that are not predominantly African American, which I think does. I think your area statement. may be an example. I, is a good example, that's correct. Uh, um, as we look towards 2012, and we're going to see the lines drawn very differently than they were in the past, we're going to have a commission drawing the lines mm -hmm. as opposed to the legislature. Correct. Do you think those lines may be drawn in a way to increase minority representation in the California legislature? Well, I think there'll be an eye toward making sure there's more, uh, more equity. Um, uh, certainly as More geographic sense? Well, <laughs> you know, ge geographic also, but as certainly minorities... Uh, are a larger part of the population, they should be represented that way uh, in the legislature. Which and so, so we're hopeful that uh, uh, while numbers uh, Af for African Americans uh, will not be diminished, we, we, we feel that there will be some shifts. What's interesting, though, is that when you look at ethnic minorities in our state, African American numbers are fairly stable around 12 percent. Yes. Latino numbers are soaring. Yes. And African Americans and Latinos have tended to live in uh, similar areas. Mm -hmm. So. Could that cause a decrease in African American well, representation? Well, you know, we, we have we, we certainly maintain good working relationships, uh, and and that's going to be important. Uh, I think there's a lot of mutual respect, and so there's, it, it, both sides are sensitive. Both sides are sensitive uh, to mm -hmm. to those issues. And I think as long as representatives are are representing the areas uh, fairly and 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 uh, and adequately. Uh, it'll, it'll be less of an issue. More good news for Karen Price and for your uh, constituents. You are now also the chair of the Business Professions and Economic Development Committee yes. in the state senate. What does that mean? Well, that means that uh, we're going to have an even greater hand in looking at uh, business policies, business programs, providing oversight, uh, and doing what we can to help get this economic engine moving forward. And I'm excited. I want to talk about the notion that California is not friendly to businesses. Mm -hmm. um, that seems to t have taken on almost a mythologic status, mm -hmm. but studies that have come out recently suggest that California is pretty middle of the road right. when it looks at how it treats businesses. Do you buy those studies, mm -hmm. or are those studies just bogus and you know, trying well, I, I to buy I think, I think there's probably truth on, on both sides. I think there's some things that we could be doing to uh, make our state more business friendly, uh, cutting back some of the, the, the regulations, some of the red tape, we certainly uh, appreciate the protections uh, that uh, are inherent therein. Um, but, but for we, example, but we've, got, but we've got to do more to help improve the environment so that businesses can thrive, small businesses especially. But Senator, the Council on State Taxation said that when you look at how California taxes, the effective tax rate against businesses is essentially 4.7 mm percent. -hmm. Florida's is 5.3 percent. Texas is 4.9 percent. We're lower than these states. Well, it is. Uh, these these uh, taxes, of course, offset by uh, the number of incentive programs that uh, we also need to look at. So maybe we should be taxing businesses more in a state budget crisis situation? Well, I, we need to look at everything, and I think taxes is certainly one of the things we're going to be Okay, saying. current price. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Back to HLN.